Well, there are new calls for scrutiny of bone material used in medical and dental surgeries. And KKL News anchor Rudabay Shabazi brings us the story of an Anaheim teacher whose family is sounding an alarm. What is that? It's a cross. I have no anniversary. And there's some of our stuff still in there. And here's the rings. A mother, a father, a husband, a sister pouring through treasures. But she had really good taste. Reflecting on the past. Oh, this would be a nice memory. I'm thinking this is very weird. It makes you kind of feel greedy or something. I rather it. She have all of this stuff, not my mom and I right. looking through it. Not supposed to be out. this way. The family of 51 year old Lori Peterson Owen of Anaheim has gathered to divvy up her belongings. It's a nightmare that no parent should have to go through. So you're telling her story, why? Because we don't want it to happen to anybody else. To understand the depth of their grief, you need to know Lori. Now, what was her personality like? Bubbly, happy. I mean, she made friends anywhere she went. Lori was also a fifth grade teacher, as she told Sportsnet in 2020. Yeah, uh, I'm a huge hockey fan, so I've got Anaheim Ducks memorabilia everywhere. Way too soon. You can see how it's an S. The journey to this day began with what seemed like a success at Hoke Orthopedic Institute in Irvine. A nine hour back surgery to correct scoliosis. 90 screws in her back. Despite all the hardware, she healed very well. Happy Four weeks after surgery, she was ready to celebrate. She had a wonderful party yes. right here. 12 days later, Lori didn't feel so well anymore. She had a terrible headache. She, um... Worst headache she have ever had. Pat took her to the ER because she couldn't hold her head up. While waiting for a room... She lay down on the bench. She told him how badly she felt and the headaches, the lights were bothering her. But because her vital signs were stable, Daryl said, I'll take her home and I'll, I'll take better care of her. So um, I agreed. It was coming up on a weekend, you know, and I just know how hospitals are, so I just told her, I said, I can bring you home. Six days later, she started to act a little weird, and then sat on Friday morning, I called 911. The woman he shared his life with couldn't even say her own name. An ambulance rushed her to UC Irvine Medical Center, her family close behind. When I went in to see Lori, you know, about an hour later, she was hooked up to all these life support machines. It was like, it, it wasn't my daughter. Fred squeezed Lori's hand. No response. Lori wasn't responding to anything. The cause, a mystery. And then about three days later, they came in and they said, we found out what it is. And they came up with the term tubercular meningitis. How do you get tubercular meningitis? Meningitis refers to a swelling around the brain. Tubercular refers to the germ that causes tuberculosis. Okay, doc, how? Lori's surgeon gave her parents a phone number for Dr. Matthew Zahn, deputy officer of the Orange County Healthcare Agency. Cases of tuberculosis are reportable in the county. And Dr. Zahn told me that Lori contracted TB meningitis from the bone product that was given to her. During surgery, Lori's screws were held in place with the help of a product called Vibone, manufactured by Azio Biologics. It contains human cadaver tissue. And so uh, presumably the donor uh, for whom the tissue material came was infected with tuberculosis. Lori died July 10th. Days later, ASIO issued a recall of the Vibone product. The CDC reports a contaminated batch was sent to 13 surgery and dental clinics in seven states. At least two patients who received it have died this year. Dozens more are undergoing treatment. And this isn't the first time it's happened. In 2021, a similar outbreak involving a different bone repair product from the same manufacturer killed eight and infected close to 100. So how could this happen again with the same company? 
Why? In the 2021 outbreak, the infected cadaver turned out to be an 80-year-old man who traveled extensively. There are no answers yet about this donor involved in this year's recall. I don't need a name, but what cadaver did they use for lorries? Where did this person come from? In September, ASIO Biologics announced a rebranding. It's now operating under a new name, Elusha. In its press release, there is no mention of the TB infections or the recall. Near the end, there were two options. The choice was moving her to a skilled nursing facility, which she would remain there for the rest of her life, or realize that we needed to let go and do what was best for her. The family made the agonizing decision to let go. And I never thought I would ever have to watch my daughter take her last breath. A Hoke Orthopedic Institute spokesperson tells KCAL News they express their deepest sympathy to the family. It is cooperating with regulatory agencies on the investigation and disclosed that one other patient received the contaminated product there. The second case uh, is received treatment and was not seriously ill. Treated early, tuberculosis is usually curable with antibiotics. Treatment is overwhelmingly successful. But doctors need to be on the alert to look for it. That also need to know that cadaver bone grafts can be a risk factor. With that knowledge... Maybe with Lori, that could have been stopped, prevented. Maybe the spread of the disease yes. wouldn't have been so devastating. What are you missing about her the most? She was my best friend. Like her possessions, Lori's ashes have been distributed to her loved ones as they reflect on cherished memories. That was for her birthday right Sorry. there. They still can't believe she's gone. All we want to do is find out the reason why and fix the reason why. And let's not let this happen to any other person. Asio Biologics, now known as Alusha, has not responded to our request for comment. The company has previously said it tested the lot of Vibone Lori received and that its test was negative for tuberculosis. Federal regulations don't require testing of bone tissue donors for TB or TB risk factors. Representative Debbie Dingle of Michigan is working to change that. A constituent of hers died in August following a bone graft from the same lot Lori received. Rudabay Shabazi, KCAL News.